Okay, we're on. What's happening? CCTV. And uh, my name is Maurice, Maurice Wilkie, and I uh, go by, I have a kind of a DJ name, DJ Mojave. But this is Spring Affair, and I am very pleased to actually welcome these four gentlemen to the studio today. Now, if I, if I get the, the order of who's who, um, actually, I'm going to try it. So let's see. Micah. Yep. Uh, Kodaro. 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 Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Kendall. Almost. <laughs> Kendall and, my, and Mason. All right. So, hey, I got, you know, three, two out of three, three out of four. Mm -hmm. But welcome, Sarah and Dip, to CCTV Live Studios. Thank you guys for coming today. Thank you for having us. And uh, one of the reasons you're actually here today is because you're actually performing in Cambridge, Harvard Square, at a place called the Regatta Bar. And that's going to be happening Thursday. But we, before we get to that, I want to kind of like, you know, I just introduced you, but like, you know, maybe share a little bit about yourselves uh, for people who don't necessarily know about, you know, you have some interesting backgrounds. I'm going to start with you, Michael. All right. So my name is Micah Christian. I'm from Randolph, Massachusetts. Hey, big up. Yep. Not too far away from here. Right. Um, and I grew up playing music. I started off on the drums, then went to the, the keys, and eventually in middle school started singing mm -hmm. and uh, just fell in love with it. Um, and yeah, I studied at BU where I met these guys um, in cool. grad school. Yeah. And, um, studied theology and now <laughs> with these guys. Theology. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next, Cordero. Cordero, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes, my name's Cordero. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. What's up? Um, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Um, I grew up in, yes, I grew up in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, after that, I studied law at BU. That's where I, I met Micah and Mason. Um, they were in grad school. Kendall and I, we grew up together. So, But I was surprised when I, when I got here to see him here. So we reconnected. And yeah, it's been it's been good. So mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, next up. All right, uh, my name is Mason. I'm from Atlanta. And I've been playing the harp for about 17 years. And uh, came to Cambridge in about 2010. Uh. First person I met in Cambridge was this guy, <laughs> Kendall Ramsour, <laughs> and it was like a week before school started. I'm always last minute, so it was like a week before school. Started. <laughs> I had nowhere to live. Oh man! Yeah, and I said, oh, I'll act. You know, oh, this place really needs to work out. Somebody opened the door, and the fellow was kind of short, and I could see over Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> straight to Kendall, and I said, I think Boston's going to work out. I think Boston's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, Kendall, let, let, let's see if you can follow from that, all right? So what about you? What about you? Yes, um, from Charlotte, North Carolina, same as Cordero. Um, I started music when I was five, piano, picked up cello at age 10. I uh, came to Boston to do my master's uh, at BU. Wow. Um, discovered that this guy was around the corner, which was a surprise. I guess we kind of lost contact for a little bit. I, I don't mm. know. But uh, yeah, we reconnected, met the rest of the guys. This was the first roommate. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're all here. So. I, all right, I'll put it I think it was you that asked me to like describe what I thought your sound was. I mean, just from like the few songs that they, you have a few albums for those people that don't know, Serendip has a few albums that they have actually you know, blessed us with. To me, it's kind of like a combination of soulfully classical jazz. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that actually is a thing. Like That's what came to like mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, it definitely has soul from your voice to your playing to all of your musicianship. And, but I mean, obviously I can hear the classical influence. But definitely, you you, you 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 jazz it somehow, and then make it yours. I mean, we, we can definitely talk about some of the, the things that you've covered, the music you've covered, and the music that you've written originally. But it's just got a, like a nice soul to it. So that's what I would consider it. I mean, am I wrong? No, I don't like know. it. Okay. That's All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. We can leave it there. I got I got one right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. I mean. It, I mean, it's obviously obviously you have your deep deep soulful roots coming through the music. I mean, the harp is is an instrument that is is it's huge number one. That's what they say. <laughs> well, you ain't sure, bro. <laughs> Do you get looks from people like you know? I mean, see. Oh, let's just say. You know, yeah, so man, come out with it. it. Come out with yeah, it. Yeah, let me just. We joke about this on our shows. Actually. On our yeah. shows, every uh, concert, you know. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, They're drawn to you. You're like the bass player, basically. Well, hey. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 
just like the every time you hear a heart, you mm -hmm. know, you, you don't think of me per se. You think of you know an angelic woman per se, long flowing hair. Mm -hmm. And so every time we get, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you agree, you know, you agree. And that was the first thing, but I was the first thing I was drawn to. I was like, yeah. yo, okay, All right. Mm. And like when we first went on America's Got Talent, that was kind of the response. Yeah, Mike can kind of help me out. It was like a lady saying, you know, the basketball game is over there. Right, right. I'm like, baby, ain't going no basketball. Game. <laughs> <laughs> I have a in my hand. Right, right. right. Yeah, so, wow. You know, it comes with the territory, but it's a great instrument. And once you play, you know, people enjoy it. And mm. people get used to it. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I was, because Cordero had told me that um, that uh, <laughs> one of his roommates played the harp. And I had an image in my head. I was like, okay, cool. You know, and then when I met Mason, like, we, like you walked in, I'm like, you play the harp. <laughs> <laughs> you probably, you can play it any way you want right, to. Right, right. <laughs> I was I like, yeah, it. I play the harp. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Now, so you two obviously know each other. You kind of connected through, um, you know, being a roommate. Yeah. You, and you, and we were in a CFA together. Oh, that's yeah. right. We were at the School of Music together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Big Same up. program. You want to shout it out? Shout out the program? You know. No, we owe money to oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. All right. So don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so you kind of, you fix everybody. All yeah. the yeah. <laughs> hey, don't we owe money <laughs> So how did you kind of get into the nucleus? Or did you just like, do it shortly thereafter right away? Or Yeah, so I was doing a, an internship at the chapel um, at BU, at, like in their campus ministry, mm -hmm. and Cordero was at a chapel event, and um, and we met that way. And he's like, "Oh, I do music," and I was like, "Oh, yeah, I like music too," and uh, but I had no idea like what kind of music he did. I didn't mm. actually listen to his music for I think two years, mm. and um, and I he had posted something on Facebook, and I was like, "Wait, like that sound is the exact sound that like I." long to create like that's the kind of music that I want to sing to and mm -hmm. and um and try to create myself but it's it was at a higher level and um and so I, I contacted him to see if we could just jam together at some point and like we ended up doing a an, an event um just the two of you no it was so and Kendall was was involved in that as well okay mm -hmm. um, where we just did like a song um, for a, a gospel choir um the inner strength gospel choir concert uh at, at BU and um and it went really well, and we were like, "Oh, wait, mm -hmm. you know, th th we like this, you know, <laughs> like, like we, we, we mm -hmm. enjoyed playing together." And then um, uh, Mason, you know, we had no idea like if Mason would be interested. Right, but, right, right. <laughs> like when I asked Mason if he'd be interested in auditioning for America's Got Talent, he's like, everybody just said, "Yeah, sure, yeah. why not?" Right. And it changed everything. Right. <laughs> it's it is. I mean, it's true. I mean, you guys. I mean, I've seen groups, definitely uh, groups of, of black men together, you know, so that's not necessarily uh, a nuanced kind of thing, but the kind of things that you guys bring together, I guess is, is refreshing in, on some levels. Mm. I mean, it's just, a, uh, I mean, I've seen classically trained people of color. It's not necessarily, like I said, um, like a unicorn, but it's like you just have something, <laughs> it ain't. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> they do play, we do play. <laughs> but it's just like, I just like that you guys mesh really well together. Mm. Um, and this, the soul, like I said, it comes out. It, uh, I'm going to take a, 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 a slight, you know, tangent, mm. but it's definitely in a soulful vein. Um, the music world lost Aretha Franklin. Now, oh. did, Aretha, did Aretha Franklin's music affect or did you grow up listening to it? Did it ever touch and influence you, the musicians that you are? I'm gonna start with you because you're being kind of quiet. You actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to pick him up off the floor. Oh man. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> since they nominated you. Well, this... I'm, uh, I'm still in mourning mm. after Miss Franklin. You know, no. Uh, but seriously, her think was the first. No, her chain of fools was the first song I ever heard at three years old. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, her think from 1968 is one of my favorite songs. And when this, he goes to call you, <laughs> Oh, no, that's <laughs> oh, oh, it is? Is on my oh. TV. Oh, live TV. He said, guess what? Said, and he said it happily. Guess no, what? oh, no, that's not, that's not, not like I'm that. Sure that. Did. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I'm like, sure you like, did. I'm sure you did. He likes the reaction. That's why it's uh, saying the grand. Yeah. No, but, yeah, he, he told me, and it was, you know, it was very, very sad. And yeah. music would never be the same without Aretha Franklin. Yeah. In my opinion, only be one queen of soul. Beyonce is fantastic. We would love to work with her one day. Mm -hmm. But uh, hey, I'm not, I don't, I'm not mad at you. And yeah. Aretha Franklin is only one person like that one. Of course. Yeah. 
Anybody else want to chime in, or you kind of just uh, like agree? I yeah. Right and, and, yeah. Uh, it's funny when she, when she did pass, and they played like all these different musical tributes to her, like a lot of the you know all the albums that you didn't hear because you like you know you used to hearing just the kind of the hits, maybe the respect or something like that. Yeah, think. But there was all these other things, the yeah. gospel and the yeah. blues, and she actually covered some Motown. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, I thought of you when I was like you know thinking about Aretha because I like you actually cover some things and you and like a, like Aretha would give it her own spin and the song would be uniquely hers afterwards mm. and that's what I like when I listen to you guys you kind of do the same thing you you'll take something that's known but then you'll give it your own kind of spin and it's like wow I didn't think of it could be interpreted that way right so uh, yeah. props to you, Thank uh, you. <laughs> I would like to play for our audience you know um, one of the songs that uh, shout out to your your manager, Jocelyn? It, um, executive Exec coordinator. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I, I didn't get the whole uh, title correct, so please forgive me about that. But she sent me a, a list of a couple of your songs. One of them was, uh, the first one I would play is called I Lived. Mm -hmm. And I like that song a lot. Can you give me a little, a little background about that? Anybody want to give a little background on that yeah, song? Yeah, so that was actually one of the first songs that we played together. And um, it was one of the songs that we sent in to America's Got Talent uh, as an audition piece. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a story behind that, but it, it um, it's one that means a lot, you know, to us. So okay, well we're gonna check that out right now. We're gonna take a then and after that we'll take a quick break. You're listening to uh, Spring Affair on CCTV from CCTV Live Studios. Sitting down now with uh, Sarah Dip. And let's check check this video out really quickly. I think I like it a lot. It's gonna come up on your screen right now.
Thank you for That was pretty cool. I love that. Sons of Sarah and Dip in the studio with me, CCTV Live Spring Affair. Uh, that was an amazing video. You showed footage of yourselves on America's Got Talent, obviously scenes around here. Uh, I, I like Who did the video? Really? Yeah. Okay. Lawyer, singer, <laughs> videographer, <laughs> Keenan. Anything you don't do, man? Well, singing. Oh, okay. <laughs> He does sing during the concerts. All right, so I was about to say, you faked it pretty good on screen oh, yeah. here, man. That was, that's an amazing song. I just loved all the energy, and uh, you proposed in that video? Yes, That wasn't yes. just like a, a director's kind of a... Oh, no, no, that was, that was real. Yeah, a lot of stress. It was a lot of stress leading so, up So, all right, I got to ask. Okay, so you proposed. It looked like it was happening. Like, you didn't, like, stage that. No, uh, what do you, well, yes, kind okay. of. Okay, I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so uh, we were on the road for a tour, and I had to tell my fiance at the time that, well, no, she wasn't my fiance. She's a girlfriend. She was my girlfriend. girlfriend. That's how these terms, I tell you. <laughs> so I had to tell her that I wasn't going to be coming home until like a day later. Okay. Um, while in the meantime, I'm like working out all the details. So long story short, I, I get all of her family and friends there, um, had Mason play the harp on, had him carry this, this harp out on the beach. It was cold, oh, too. It was, it was cold. Over. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really a special moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, that, that was real. That was nice. Yeah. And you guys were down the Cape? You were down in Barnstable? Was, that was at Singing, Singing Beach, I think it was. Yeah, Singing so. Beach. Yeah. Who was grilling? I saw somebody try to throw something on the grill. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we were trying to get the fire to get started. I was like, somebody threw like this whole big thing of like kerosene on him. Like, okay, it's gonna start now. It was a windy day. It was hard to keep it going. I feel you. And he was, but we managed. Right, right. There was this fellow's bachelor party. Oh yes. Yeah. And were you really surprised? Was that just some fake? Was that? No, that was real. No, that for, for his for, birthday. Yeah, for his birthday. Oh, oh, oh yes, birthday. yeah. Surprised. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was Michael surprised yeah. with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. You look like you guys as a group just have fun. I mean, and just like the music's kind of like you know, it's like a like a nice circumstance that kind of like come as a growth out of it. But you're smiling, you're happy, you yeah. really like like to be with each other as musicians. I like that. Yeah, and as friends too. I feel like um, that was one thing that uh, was was wonderful about when we first came together. It was mm -hmm. like there was synergy right away um, as friends, as musicians, um, and so it was easy. Challenge well, you. No, Stevie, okay. The, yeah, tell, tell, tell the story. We got a little time. Mason's favorite. It's not. Okay. That Stevie has influenced me by way of India already. Okay. Um, and, and I saw them both when they came to town. That's okay, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah um, Stevie came to do his um, Songs of the Key of Life album, oh. and she was with him. Oh, wow. Yeah. No. Yeah. They, they did his whole album. Uh, I got some good points with my girlfriend that day. <laughs> but uh, yes, that was just an amazing this performance. But she was she sang some songs with him. She opened for him. Mm -hmm. And then she came um, back on stage occasionally. Um, so that was really cool. That's funny you mentioned India. Yeah, well, yeah, because Stevie and India to me are inseparable um, because of... Because I knew how... Because India has influenced me deeply. Mm. And, um, and so, like, I, I've listened to her. I've, I've heard her interviews and... And she's often talking about Stevie. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Any other, uh, uh, I guess, present influences of today that you guys call upon? I mean, he mentioned NDRV. Anybody else that's in the present vein that yeah. you like? That's a good question. Yeah. I like an artist um, called um, um, The Saturn and uh, Sleeping at Last. He has a kind of sound that it kind of reminds me of what we, what we try to uh, achieve. It's more, um, more like laid back and ethereal. Mm -hmm. So that's an artist that I kind of am currently like, drawing some influence from. So. And I want to get the name right. I think his name is Leon Bridges. Have you heard? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. got turned on to him, and he's kind of like a. The first album he did was very Sam Cooke, very kind of early soul. Yeah. 
And I was like, he's from, I think, Tennessee. Oh, wow. Yeah, but he's just got like an older soul sound. And I guess it's like later, uh, this next album had some contemporary drops in it, but it definitely had that older soul kind of like, you know, I like the I like the sound of today. What do you think of today's, like, you know, um, what they would consider rhythm and blues of today's music? I mean, mm -hmm. are there more? You said there are people like yourselves. Are there a lot of them? I don't think there's many. Mm. I don't think so. I mean, I'll say that, you know, at least from what I hear on the radio, it's a lot of electronic sounds, mm -hmm. uh, which is cool yeah. too. You know, uh, we're actually playing around with that a little bit. Oh, really? But, uh, yeah, you know, making a new album. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. We're gonna take a look at quick pause, oh. when we're gonna actually play a little bit of your uh, "Sign Seal Delivered." Let's check out "Sons of Sarah Dip" right here on CCTV. Some kind of, you got to take some responsibility. I, everybody participated in that one. That was this, not this was a funny one. Yeah. Dude, that was all together. one take. Really? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. We didn't have a cameraman. No. So, so who was spinning the thing? All of us. Yeah. We were joking around. Yeah. Leaping around. Yeah. Had it on a, a little a swivel chair. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was. I like your style, man. <laughs> and once again, like the, this, this the feeling is the coming through. That's the camaraderie, the silliness. You, the melodica. That was a melodica, right? Yeah. Yeah. I that, that. I was like, I was like, well, this cat's doing some work. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was a fun video. I like it, too, but just doesn't have to be like a lot of you know pyrotechnics going on just to show the fun that you have playing the music that you play. Mm. And like yeah, you love Stevie. Oh, yeah. Very cool, man. <laughs> so I mean, keep playing other stuff. Like the combination, you're gonna be writing more of your own stuff uh, as time go con continues. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You mentioned that, and um, I just wanted to say because I was I was actually able to see twice. The first time when I think when it came out and I kind of went viral, your video of the song that you did with your dad, you wrote that originally. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I just loved that. That was Superman. Yeah, yeah thank you. That was, an, no, I mean, sincerely from the heart, that was an amazing song. That a lot, a lot of young men just need to see. Just mm. to, see, to see people that be able to, to see that. Sorry, I'm trying to share. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was definitely heartfelt. Um, 
So once again, in case for you, you're not just joining me, I'm actually talking to Sons of Serendip. They're going to be in Cambridge performing at um, Regatta Bar, which is in the Charles Hotel, which is at 1 Bennett Street in Cambridge. That's going to be a 7.30 show. It should be a lot of fun. Um, what can people expect when they come to a Sons of Serendip show if they've never been there? Mm. Besides you guys and the harp and the, and the keyboards and the smiles, obviously, what, what, what can people also expect from a show? Um, I would say, you know, songs like Oh, It's Like We, but I can't mention that song we don't play it anymore. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, okay, don't let me get you in trouble. I'm just I try to ask a simple question. No, I, I, you know, like you were saying, you know, we, we do a combination of um, some oldies, so we'll mm -hmm. pull some Stevie Wonder and okay. our own spin on it. Mm -hmm. uh, or, like, I'm trying to think of a new, you mentioned Katy Perry. Yes. Um, We've done a, done a song by The Weeknd. Uh, so yeah, I think some of that, it'll be a combination of, of some old with the new, but with our own spin. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to com combine like storytelling in our shows. So nice. uh, yeah, try to cr create a, a very intimate space. Um, and we just hope that folks leave feeling lifted and encouraged, you know? All right. Uh, I like that experience. I think I'm yeah. going to come through. I think yeah, I, I think I know I'm going to come through. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love that idea. Just like you know, a lot of is it like a lot of crowd interactive? Some crowd yeah. interaction. Absolutely. Bring your singing voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want you don't want to hear me sing. Yeah, we do. Maurice. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so you need someone to make fun of. So no, 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 like, no, see, no. don't sing like him. See. Actually, you might be able to hook me up. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Just keep, I'd like give me like a, a point that I want this silly get out of the doghouse with. Maybe if I can do it in advance. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think forward. Anyway, today's, today's my anniversary with my girlfriend, so I'm trying oh, to like make sure. Happy 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 thank you, thank awesome. you. See, I'm not that bad. <laughs> okay, um, and we need reasons, uh, you know, just to get together. Uh, and I'm glad, I'm glad that you are, you know, performing. Are there people that you'd like to perform with? You mentioned one of them. I think you, I mean, half jokingly, but half serious, like Beyonce. But is there anybody else in the RE that you'd love to work with, ideally? Mm. So in, 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 in Derry, yeah. yeah. Bobby yeah. McFerrin is another one oh. that has influenced me deeply. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, and so, those for me, those two would be mm. incredible. Okay, how about you, any? Uh... Uh, let's see, for me, it would be, they already know, uh, <laughs> and I already reached out to her. <laughs> Diana Ross. Whoa! <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, we got a response Whoa. back. But me being last minute, I was too late in asking. We, we better get you a little bit more timely, brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody buy him a watch or something? See, I know. <laughs> I know. I want to fix it. I want to fix it. Okay. Yeah. How about you? I, I would say Yo-Yo Ma. Oh, it was right down the block. Okay. Right, right which is very interesting. If you're watching Yo-Yo Ma, yeah. Hey. <laughs> we'll hashtag it. We'll Because right. yeah, we'll, we'll he, he does a lot of, um, you know, he, He's very across genres, so yes. he's always, you know, collaborating with artists from from different sides of the world in the music. Hmm. You know, he's done some folk. He, he's done R and B. He's done he's done a lot. Um, so I think it would be a really cool. He's a bad dude, man. Yeah, if, if you ever hear him just play just by himself, yes. I mean, he gets down with it just but just by himself. I heard him like on um I think it was uh, Greater Boston the you know, one day, um, day on TV. Oh, wow. I forget what the occasion was, but he was just going in on that. I was oh. like, okay, right. I'll go see just you. Right, How right. about you? Did you say somebody that you love to work with? Um, you know, actually, I'm a big fan of Tori Kelly. Oh, um, yeah. also, I love her voice. Um, and the other person I mentioned was like Sleeping at Last. The kids, kind of something that's kind of in the same style as us. Um, I don't know, maybe Alicia Cara. Good messages in her music. So, yeah. Yeah. We also I mean, we love to collaborate with dancers and with poets and yeah and painters. Painters. And, yeah. Have you done that already, or is that something that's gonna that's in the works, or? So, it's been in the works for yeah. a while. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't. We like a live painter person doing it while you play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we, we did a collaboration with um, with uh, this group called the Silhouettes on America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. That's right. And um, and that's when the idea started flowing of like what other collaborations we could do. And so they they did this dance routine that was incredible. Um, to us, you know, it was a Christmas um, special, so we did a Christmas song and. This is a really beautiful um, like collaboration with them, and right. so we, we would love to do more of that. And you have a Christmas album. We do. Yes, that's pretty. And I liked a lot of the things that you did. Hallelujah! I like mm -hmm. a lot of the songs that you did on that that album. So, I guess I'm throwing a plug out there for for people who haven't heard um, of Sons and Sarah Dip, Sons of Serendip. Mm -hmm. Please check them out. Uh, you definitely will not be disappointed that you did that. Uh, 
shout outs. I guess I was going to say shout outs and hellos to the, the, the videographer, but he's right now in the studio with me, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, we definitely need more music like you provide. Um, before we actually go to our last song, uh, what do you want people to know about your group that people might not know? Gotta give you a hard question. Yeah, that's, yes. That's a good one. We're, yes. We're homebodies and introverts. <laughs> okay. Okay. We all are. That's good. <laughs> you want them to know that? <laughs> that's right. No, we're on the road. We're performing all the time. We're hard working now. That's a good point. We're, <laughs> good. we're home practicing all the time. Um, <laughs> I'd say, like, um, we do keep in mind the like the spiritual aspect of music. Notice that. Yeah, and just like. Um, because we we have had people reach out to us and talk about like the way that the music's affected them, mm. and just uh, helps us to see just how uh, it helps to encourage us and like um, to know that what we're doing like, matters and mm -hmm. music. You know, it, it's an important tool to help for healing and comfort and helping to pro provide peace for people. So enjoy, mm -hmm. and, you know. Healing. So and, yeah, yeah, so. Do you feel like in the cl the current you know climate you know uh, socially socio politically do you feel like your music eventually will kind of go into those places to try to heal people who might be kind of like I don't know not sure about I mean music does a lot of things socially too yeah. yeah I mean and I mean we we just talked about Aretha Franklin a little while ago she was definitely socially active and definitely yeah. aware do you think that your your music will cross into those spaces um, continue well, I hope so yeah I hope so. yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, I'm going to shift gears to one of the last songs I would like to play, which is uh, from the album, from the Love, Life and Love album. And uh, and I want to, hmm, I'm trying to think which, uh, is it Women's Work? Yeah, Women's Work. It was. Okay. I just want to make sure I got it pulled it up right. And now that song is pretty interesting because it's yet another cover. <laughs> but everybody kind of like recognizes it for... Like if somebody told me originally, oh yeah, that's the Maxwell song, and then like I have to, I have to think about it. Oh wait, no, that's not. That's a. And I looked up. That's a Kate Bush song. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, would you were you doing it? Which for which person were you doing it for? For the did you like hear the Maxwell like oh we got to do that or was it for the Kate Bush? There was a lot of Maxwell influence. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And when well, they we first suggested both. it. We yeah. yeah. To both. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Actually, cool. I never heard the Kate Kate Bush. Oh, really? Until, yeah. It's different. It's. I mean, uh, it's it's heart heart wrenching. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the video, you especially this was a, was this another creation of yours? Yeah. You definitely showed you showed a a family dynamic. Um, that was interesting too, and you definitely focused on the kid. Uh, describe your process when you when you're creating a video. Um, the, the process, I guess each video is different, and, um, yeah, sometimes the idea is there from the beginning, other times it's, uh, like, for example, that video was mm -hmm. kind of created in a, like, in a day, like, day, the, it was actually on an airplane, I, I wrote out the whole idea oh, wow. on my way to North Carolina, and then when I got to North Carolina, I shot it the, the very next day with, um, with my, my brother and his daughter, and, and, and yeah, so it was, that, the, yeah, that was a quick turnaround, we feel like we needed a, because we are trying to do a big promotion, or push for, for our album when we needed something so mm -hmm. um, it, yeah but the, the emotions while shooting that video because it was my family and then seeing the tears and stuff that happened in it, it uh, I was a little shook but <laughs> <laughs> so you took people who are pretty much non-actors and put them in yeah. a situation yeah. that was incredible because that looked like you know some <laughs> some real stuff well, keep doing the videos you do. I'm not saying that you, I want you to like you know oh, straight yeah. from the group. Yeah. I, I think I think that they probably gonna keep you you know pretty much together about like about just like staying with them. But you have a real talent. I really, uh, I I love video and just like I want to be able to get some people just have that video eye. Just like yeah. you you definitely have that. Just the ideas they flow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take a, a a quick jump into to this woman's work. As before we go, want to say thank you all for just you know joining me all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And I'm definitely going to check them out, check yeah. you all out. Yeah. Thursday, Regatta Bar, definitely check these young men out. They're amazing musicians, great personalities. Also, shout out to Jocelyn, shout out to your wife too. Everybody came down, and it was because of your wife coming down. Um, that's why you guys are here today. Yeah. So let's take a, a quick look and listen at this woman's work right here on CCTV. Yeah. 